Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tito Claw. So please welcome your host, James Deacon. Everybody and welcome to the show. Hi, it's Tito Clock. What's up? How you doing out there in Tito Clocker land? I uh, hope you're doing well. I hope you guys are chilling out, relaxing, and having a good start to the weekend. It is Friday, baby. <laughs> Actually, it's starting to feel more and more like Friday now. You know, before, for the last six months, Fridays had the same feel as every other day, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, you know what I mean? Because we were kind of all in that quarantine. But now, I don't know, Fridays has its own vibe for me now again. I'm kind of feeling it, kind of getting a bit, oh, yeah, weekend's here, you know? There's a bit of a difference. UFC's coming on this weekend. Who follows UFC out there? Do we have any UFC uh, fans out there, or is it just me? I know I did a shout out the a uh, couple of days ago because there's a big fight happening on the weekend, and about about 1,200 or so people responded, which is really good. That means it's a growing community, getting better than it was before, which I really like. And anyway, why don't you first uh, let's start by saying hi to all the Tita Clockers out there. Hi, Tita Clockers. We've got. Um, Bong, Bang, sorry, Bang Eswar. Who else we got there? Um, got George out there. Lorna Varai. Jan Mendoza. All right. Everyone's saying me. I guess everyone's here for the raffle. Don't worry. We'll make it very fast for you. Um, today, there's no actual guest today. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through the raffle. We're going to run through the news. We're going to run through uh, what's happening in the inbox. Have a little bit of a chat, um, share with what's going on or what happened in the week. Maybe you want to share what happened in your week. If you want to ask a question about anything, uh, let's just have a bit of fun. Make it a little shorter show so we can get straight to the raffle. Because I know that that's what you came here for, right? So, yeah, we got the air dog um, over here. As a matter of fact, it's right behind me. So the prize is right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a bit blurred on the side. Right my finger is. That's, that's my air dog over here. There you go. I keep it near the window, especially recently. Face painted, and ooh, the, the paint smell is so strong. So you know, really need help with getting that uh, air purified out there. And of course, the construction from from all the renovations and stuff. It really it goes through four filters, um, and I'll show you that later on in the wrap because I had to do my own and install my own. It was super simple, and I put in the four layers in there, and I'll show you how that works in just a little while. And there's the uh, air dog with the real dog, the fluffy dog. And that's Rocketeer, the rocket launcher, who's about to start. I think he should get talent here already, you know? I think this, this, this guy is like, he's being exploited. But then again, he exploits right back. Believe me, every time there's food, every time there's a freebie, Rocket's always there, right there, just ready to roll at any time. All right. So let's kick things off with how we normally do. Um, and we'll get the latest in headlines. And for that, we need Chris. Chris, what's up and what's going on out there? Hello, hello, my buhai. Can you hear me, Tito James? Super loud and super clear. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, my buhai, and good afternoon to all of our Tito Clockers. And here are today's Tito Clock News. <laughs> Reduce deaths among COVID-19 patients or prevent moderate disease from becoming severe. Covalescent plasma is the antibody-rich serum taken from the blood of people who recovered from COVID-19. The idea is that the plasma can help the immune response of patients still fighting the disease. The study conducted in India suggests that as a potential treatment for patients with moderate COVID-19, the covalescent plasma showed limited effectiveness. The new study showed that a higher proportion of patients who received covalescent plasma saw improvements in their symptoms of fatigue and shortness of breath compared with those given standard care, but there was no difference between patients when it came to resolving fever and cough. The placid trial was able to show a small effect on the rate at which patients were able to rid themselves of the virus, but, the, but this was not enough to improve their recovery from the disease. In simple terms, there were no clinical benefits to the patients. And while this is the largest randomized trial of covalescent plasma to complete so far, it's still too small to give clear answers. Larger trials are needed for clear results, and even then, there will still be questions about whether different types of patients respond better or worse. 
The Manila City government announced today that Translacion 2021 will not be held due to the coronavirus pandemic. Translacion is a ritual on January 9th of each year with millions of Black Nazarene devotees walking through the streets of Manila. It is an almost day-long procession of the Black Nazarene statue, also called the Nazareno, which is deemed miraculous by its believers. The ritual known worldwide for its tightly packed mass of worshippers, which is a literal sea of people moving through the city. The tightly packed movement of people during the procession violate physical distancing rules that the Philippines is compelled to obey because it has yet to flatten the coronavirus curve. Philippines now has 363,888 confirmed COVID-19 cases. The Department of Health reported 1,664 new cases on Thursday, October 22nd. Pope Francis became the first pontiff to endorse same-sex civil unions in comments for a documentary that premiered Wednesday, October 21st at the Rome Film Festival that delves into issues including environment, poverty, income inequality, and discrimination. The comments sparked cheers from gay Catholics. Filipino Catholic bishops stood firm that a union is just between a man and a woman. Retired Sorsogon Bishop Arturo Bastes said that supporting civil union for gay couples is a shocking statement coming from a pope, and it contradicts the divine law which recognizes only a man and a woman as a couple. Father Douglas Badong, parochial vicar of the Quiapo Church, said the Pope might have just expressed his support for civil union to protect the rights of the LGBTQ community, but not for the church marriage that recognizes only a man and a woman as a couple. According to CBCP Public Affairs Committee Executive Secretary Father Jerome Ceciliano, what the Pope said was not yet church doctrine and that teachings of the faith remain unchanged. Coca-Cola announced Thursday that it is saying goodbye to 200 brands or half of its portfolio. The beverage giant will discontinue drinks like Tab, Zico, and Odwalla. The reduction will allow Coca-Cola to focus on its most profitable offerings, which include its core products like Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, as well as brands that fit into trendy new categories like Topo Chico Hard Seltzer and AHA, a caffeinated seltzer the company launched last year. CEO James Quincy did not give specific names that will get axed, but said that the hydration category with Dasani, Powerade, Vitamin Water, and Zico, and other brands will likely see more cuts. Many of the brands Coke will shut down are only sold in certain markets instead of nationwide. Coca-Cola has had a hard time during the pandemic because of restaurant closures. In the third quarter, net revenues declined 9% to $8.7 billion. House Minority Leader Joseph Stephen Paduano has urged the National Telecommunications Commission, or NTC, and the Bureau of Internal Revenue, or BIR, to look into ABS-CBN's block time agreement with Zoe TV for possible legal and tax issues after its show's return to free TV last October 10. But a Nakalusugan party list representative Mike Defensor did not see anything wrong with the block time deal because it is not a utilization of the franchise. It is the franchise of Zoe and they are buying into it. Zoe TV, owned by televangelist turned congressman Deputy Speaker Eddie Villanueva of Sibak Party List, has rebranded and is now known as A to Z Channel 11. The block time deal has allowed ABS-CBN programs to return on free TV this month. Its operations ceased last May 5 when its previous 25-year legislative franchise expired. Block timing is the Philippine broadcast media practice of buying blocks of airtime to produce programs independent of networks and I don't know if we lost you, Chris. We might have. Affiliation with Gabriela Women's Party may put her in the same path. Looks like we're having some trouble with Chris's mic. Hmm. 
All right, Chris, looks like we might be having some trouble with your mic. Um, can't hello, see hello. You oh, there you go. There you hello, go. hello. All go right. Again, <laughs> Sorry again. about that. Okay, so where did I stop? I think I stopped with Liza Soberano. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, for our last uh, piece of news, Lieutenant General Antonio Parlada warned actress Liza Soberano last Wednesday that her association with Gabriela Women's Party may put her in the same path as those killed in encounters with troops or raped by New People's Army or NPA rebels. The warning was issued after Liza recently spoke in the online forum on gender-based abuse hosted by the Gabriela earlier this week. Liza was criticized by netizens and labeled as a communist sympathizer in some social media platforms. Parladi said that communist Mal Malayang Kilusan ng Bagong Kababaihan or Makibaka is fronted by Gabriela. Soberano's legal counsel, Juanito Lim Jr., denounced in the strongest terms the red tagging of Liza Soberano in some social media platforms because Liza is just expressing her love and respect for women and children as her personal advocacy. Gabriela Party List Representative Arlene Brosas issued a statement accusing Parlade of rapidly red tagging Liza and other women celebrities and influencers who support and speak out on women's rights, especially against violence and abuse. And that's all our headlines for today. So let's have uh, Tita James back. Tita James, let's uh, take a look at the inbox. What you got me in the box now? All right. Today, so we? much technical difficulties today. Oh, but uh, first up, we have is the uh, car with weird plates. The car with weird plates. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, well, you know, these are foggy problems. Only foggy people understand this. <laughs> yeah. And may put his power. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's no, true. Yeah, again. That's true. <laughs> okay. You know, we're, right. we're having to, we may as okay. Last, last. Okay. Let's just we're having too many technical problems. I'm sorry, Chris. We're gonna have to leave it there. Um, I don't know what's gone. The gremlins have taken <laughs> over, so I'll just have to thank I you know. for that. Yep. Thank you. We'll catch you again next week, Chris. Thanks for all that. Yes. And, uh, Thank you, wow. Tita James. Thank you, everybody. I don't know. This the, the, the mouse is out. Um, everything's going out again. The, the frame rate's going out. So we, be we better get what we uh, really, the crust of everything, right? We come here on Fridays for some very, very special reasons. I mean, I know a lot of people say that um, they want to, that free plug, well, free plug Friday, of course, is the big thing on, on Fridays. But uh, we have a, <laughs> we're, we're having dramas here, X, lots of dramas. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, uh, we might have to just restart the broadcast. I'm really sorry. Yeah, we have to restart the broadcast. It's gonna, it's just gonna continue to hang. So we'll just hang five with us. Just hang five. We'll come back and we'll be bigger and better. Okay, don't go anywhere. If you don't want to, if you want to win the raffle, you're gonna have to come back. So just give us a couple of minutes. All right, now we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, see, it's dead again. Can't.
we're back. Oh, gosh. Super sorry about this, guys. And uh, you know what? I'm not sure how exactly this is going to work, but we're going to try our best because we're having some technical problems. I'm going to have to go to a backup system. But for the meantime, it's Free Plug Friday. So for that, we, we crawl the XX. Oh, what you got in the box there? Hi, Peter James. We actually have a lot in store once again. But before we go there, I just want to say hi to all the Tito Fockers. Welcome to another edition of Free Plug Friday. Mm. All right, guys, please your eyes on the screen. First, we have calcium C. Let's start our day right by taking vitamin C. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the benefits of taking vitamin C because it's it's proven to be an immune booster. But the good part about the Tito James is that it has an alkaline pH property, which means that people can take larger doses without risking gastric irritation. Do you, you get that? Yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, oh. I get that's the only problem with the vitamin C acidity. Mm. So the yeah. good news about calcium C is a non-acidic vitamin C. Look, even Rocket wants to try it. Well, he wants to try everything. It's not a good gauge. Okay, <laughs> fine. All right, guys. You guys have to try this. It starts at eight pesos each, and it is available in your leading drug source nationwide. Calcium C. All right, next we go to Dairy Tech. They said over products like their queso syrup, queso syrup express milk that can be used for different dishes like pizza, sandwich, chicken mushroom pies, and so much more. And they even sent in some jar jars, chocolate. You can never have too much cheese in the house. Mm -hmm. what and chocolate. And chocolate. That's a Filipino favorite. Original, yeah. Original, yeah. Mm -hmm. OG and Tito James. Absolutely. All right, guys. Hope you can check them out. Dairy Tech on Facebook and Instagram. Next, we go to Adobo in a Jar. Nice, nice, Do nice. Just when you thought Adobo couldn't get any better, they put it in a jar. Exactly. Wow. James, who would have known that you could have Adobo on demand and you could uh, even take it anywhere with you? Anywhere with necklaces you are next. Adobo necklaces. Uh, <laughs> anywhere you are, just open it up, you know, a little rice and boom, boom, you're done. <laughs> All right, guys, so no need to marinate anything before you get to eat this. Adobo in a jar is actually an Elongo style adobo flakes in regular and spicy flavor. Which one did you like among the three today? Um, I always like spicy. I always go for the spicy version. I can't. I can't. I take the regular, but I love them both equally, but I'm more in the regular flavor. All right, guys, hope you can check them out. Adobo in a jar on Facebook and Instagram. Next, we go to desserts. Mm -hmm. Today, we have Sani's Home Baked Goods. Oh yeah, they sent in their best-selling desserts, which is their fudgy brownies, white chai chocolate, and cookies, and the chocolate chip cookies. Which one did you like among the three, Peter James? Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Mm, same. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that is fudgy brownies. Fudgy brownies are also really good. Mm. You're melting your mouth, right? They're more like chewy and the nice kind of. Oh, they're just good. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Hope you guys can check them out. Price starts at 100 pesos. Price starts at 180 pesos for eight pieces of fudgy brownies and a. 185 pesos for six pieces of chocolate chunk cookies. Hope you can check them out. Sani's home baked goods. All right, next we have J. Amy's Farms. J. Amy's Farms is the home of vegan friendly mushroom chicharrones. James, Ooh. mushroom chicharrones. Okay, I can feel the vegans cheering now because it's hard to find vegan food. Huh? Exactly. I mean, I'm not a vegan myself, but I have vegan friends and they have a hard time complying with the mm -hmm. diet so when you when they find something that's legit oh man and you can eat this in a snack bowl while you're watching netflix or a favorite movie right yeah absolutely all right guys so this has this company has started since 2015 and they have different flavors for you to choose from such as the hickory barbecue flavor chili peri peri garlic and original very okay. nice, very nice, interesting, nice. right? All right, price starts at 145 pesos for the original and 580 for a pack of four. They're available on Facebook, Instagram, and even Lazada. Mm. Hope you can check them out. J. Lee's Farms. All right, next we go to Greens from the South. Greens from the South hails all the way in Parignac and they offer homemade condiments such as the spice vinegar, crunchy garlic, basil pesto sauce, and the crunchy garlic chili oil. This is a great gift idea. Actually, did you just look at the box? It actually is really, like, it actually wrapped really nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Very, well, very nice. Well, even just the idea of not having, because that's tedious. It's everyone loves to have their crunchy garlic and their pesto and stuff. But unless you're really a chef that enjoys that stuff or you really enjoy your time in the kitchen, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to make good pesto, a lot of work to make good uh, uh, crunchy garlic. So, yeah, it's a nice gift. I hope you guys can check them out. Greens from the South on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, next we go to House 1925. House 1925 is a barbershop based in Molito, Alabang that started in April 2019. And of course, they offer services for the products and luxury and even offer complimentary coffee, tea, and a shot of whiskey. Alright, hope you guys can check them out. And of course, 
for those people who are still worried about going out, these guys guarantee that they implement infection control protocols, right? House 1925 on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you can check them out, guys. All right, last but not the least, we go to Wonder Necessities Manila. Peter James, you can't get enough of these alcohol sprays, right? That's why they're a necessity. <laughs> exactly, and you can put them everywhere in your bag, bag, belt, 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 because there's a lace. And around your dog chain. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all right, fine, all right. And it comes in different colors, too, that can, you know, you can definitely choose anywhere from whatever you want. There's pink, there's blue, there's black, there's brown. Any, well, basically. Anyways, guys, hope you can check them out. Wonder Necessities Manila on Facebook and Instagram. Well, that's all we have for this week's edition of Free Plug Friday. Hope you can check them out next week. Happy weekend. Peace out. This is X. Bye. Woohoo. All right. Yeah, Free Plug Friday. Sorry about all of our little uh, dramas over here, but we got that one for you. Um, in the end, it worked out. Even with all these techie problems. My gosh. Okay, so we got a free plug Friday. We've got our news. Now we head over to, uh, well, before we head over to the raffle, maybe we can have a little chat. Maybe, if, is there anything else you want to know about? I personally was kind of shocked. Were you shocked about the Pope's news? I mean, like with the same sex marriage? I mean, that came out of left field, didn't it? I mean, well, for me personally, I think good for good for the community. That's that's wonderful. But other people do in their, you know, their own bedrooms and their own time, time, and whatever. It's business, as long as it's not harming anyone else, so be it, right? And uh, if you're against gay marriage, I mean, the best thing you can do and the, the best protest you can make against gay marriage is don't marry a gay person yourself. And that's it. That should be the extent of your process. But if two gay people want to get married and they, they just want to do it on their own, that's, that's up to them. And all he said was civil. He's not endorsing the Catholics. He's not. There's no endorsement from the Catholic Church. And you will never... Well, not, it doesn't sound like it'll ever in our lifetime be something that the Catholic Church will accept. And that's totally fine. That is a, a that's the problem. It's still, you know, within their church. But once it gets into civil and you start looking at the law, then you have to sort of take it out. And I mean, you, you can't impose a religious view on the law. That's why they have to have church and state separated because not everyone subscribes to the same religion. So that's why the law should protect all citizens, regardless of faith gender or sexuality wow kind of got begut didn't it what do you guys think about uh, all of that gay agrees um you know i just think a lot of people were reacting with emotion they don't they agree but uh or sorry, 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 they don't feel that way that like they're against it and then the pope says it now they're against the pope you can't do that you know <laughs> it's if the pope's the head of the church if he says it's okay it's okay it's just okay because you know you that's 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 right. It's not a doctrine, but he's speaking on behalf of the civil unions. What else have we got there um, that we we were I wanted to chat about, but we kind of had some dramas with our tech, and we had to cut Chris short, unfortunately. Um, pity we didn't get through all of the inbox because that's normally pretty fun. But what I want to do right now is end the nerves about the whole tech problems that we're having, and I know a lot of people are tuned in. We have about five hundred people tuned in now uh, for the raffle. And I don't want to get cut off. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the raffle first. We're going to do the raffle. We'll get that out of the way. And that way, everybody's, no, we can't. We still can't even do that, apparently, because uh, there's some tech issues on that side as well. But yeah, I'm just worried about getting cut off before anyone gets their, their raffle prizes. But while we're doing that, um, some of the things that happened this week that I wanted to share with you, which were pretty exciting, was um, first up, inspect the uh, Pantaleon Bridge, uh, Australia Bridge, Rockwell. I don't know if you guys uh, caught that, but I shared a live video about that with Sec Mark Villar. And it was really good because I got to see the progress that they're doing. It's about 68% uh, completed now. But the nice thing and the good news about that 68% is the kind of technology that they're using. I forget what he called it. It's um, travel. 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 Travel link is, is a technology that they're using for the bridge. Um, it takes a long, long time just to set up the location and the preparation for that technology to come in. Uh, takes a long time. That's why it didn't seem like it was moving for a long time, for like two years. And then now it's now starting. It's growing every day. I, I look out and I see it because I can see it from my window. Um, it's just growing and growing. So April is the target date of completion. It's going to be a completely different bridge to uh, what we were used to in that area. We used to have a uh, little, sort of looked like, for me, it looked like a stapler of some sort, like a little clip-on, um, that old Australia bridge. And, and wow, 
obviously it served the purpose, but um, it was never meant to be permanent, apparently. That's uh, according to the government and the authorities were saying that bridge was just there as a temporary thing. It's not designed to withstand earth earthquakes. It's not designed to take on the kind of traffic that goes through that place. So it wasn't future proof. Um, could only accommodate about 15,000 cars a day. And that particular alignment, as they call it, uh, takes up to, you, you need at least double that. And that's now, that doesn't even count to the future. So a four lane, four -lane bridge with this access and bike lanes uh, will certainly help connect those two cities, twin cities of uh, Mandaluyong and Makati. And the more bridges that you have there, the far better it's going to be for traffic. Because if you notice the way the city's designed now, what separates north and south, like the river, the Pasig River, and you've got the Guadalupe Bridge, you've got the uh, Pasig uh, Bagong Ilog Bridge, you've got the Mandaluyong Bridge. Um, those are pretty much the main, the three main bridges to cross. I mean, of course, there, there, are, there are a few more, but those are the, the, the main ones that cross from, you know, this side of uh, Makati and the south to the northern side. And so you can imagine that's why we get so congested. So roads are partly the answer, but bridges are very, very important. And so we're going to get two bridges next year, very early in the year. Well, first part of the year, should I say. And um, once those bridges come in, then it should really, really help because we're going to get two at one time around the same time, the BGC to Ortigas link. And then we're going to get the one from Rockwell to, to and this should ease up the Lupa side. But the Guadalupe side and the Guadalupe bridge is a bit of a worry because they need to rehabilitate that at some point. It's overdue for rehabilitation to comply with earthquake, um, well, what they need to do to be earthquake proof, right? So that's going to be a bit of an issue if they don't uh, get these other bridges up and running because they can't really start the Guadalupe Bridge without those other two. That was very good. That was um, really good news, I thought. And I thought also there was another very exciting, there it is. Um, thanks, X. That's, the, that's what it looks like. And if you saw it like even just last week or so, it, it, it looked completely different. So it looked the same for like two years. And then now every week something big is happening there. So I'm really excited to see that take shape because it's going to also solve the bottleneck on the other side of the river. Because what was happening, if anyone used that bridge before, if you remember, um, you would go across and then you would land right there at the foot of the Pasig River. That foot there was a, you know, it was only good for two single lanes. And that was just, just that was really bad. I mean, the bottleneck, you can have a 20 lane bridge. It doesn't matter if it's gonna all end up in two lanes, uh, one lane each way. So they've also extended the what, kind of the bridge or the drop-off point. And that drop-off point will go all the way to Pantaleon and it will be widened. So that should address it. Now, obviously we'll wanna see it. Well, thanks, that's perfect, X. That's exactly what I wanted to show everyone. Um, the, see how different it is before we had like that little clip on that just literally connected the two banks of the river. Now you see where the, the landing is, see how far down it is on the Mandaluyong side. It actually over, it, it, it goes way past. I, I'm, I'm trying to point, but I don't know if you can see it on my finger, but just look at how different that is. That's, that's very exciting stuff. Something to certainly get um, excited about. And of course the BGC Ortigas one opening up soon. It's going to be also another big, big uh, help. Another um, thing that happened this uh, week was just yesterday. Uh, I got to tick off a box, a really nice box that I've been waiting to tick off for a long time. I don't know if you guys know Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, unfortunately, I can't share any of the of what we did, the podcast, because it was, it, well, there's, there's a copyright. It was done in a private format. So I'm not allowed to share the uh, information. But if you don't know Gary Vaynerchuk, he's one of the most influential people on social media at the moment and uh, worldwide, right? And this guy has, he's an entrepreneur out of New York and he helps people get their, get motivated, get their business started and succeed using especially social media. Um, if you don't know him, just Google Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V, that's V double E because you might get Gary Valenciano if you type in the other one. Right. But this guy was an amazing person to talk to. Um, I was able to have a one hour discussion with him with a private group. And it was uh, it was like one of these webinars, but um, really got to learn a lot from him and got to get a little bit of an insight of where we're going uh, in terms of trends and stuff like that. So that was that was something I really wanted to share. The sound is robotic. 
Mm. How robotic? Very robotic. Okay, very robotic. So we're obviously because I have a feeling that we're not going to make it through the technical side of all of this. It's just going to, something's going on. I don't know if it's StreamYard, if that's our, our broadcasting uh, streamware right now, but it's just not, I can even see it's all very, the frame rate on my side is extremely bad. I don't know if it's bad on your side, but if we're kind of getting close to the raffle, then we'll just do that. And at least that way you got what you came for, because that's the most important thing. I think the only thing that people look forward to more, more than the raffle here is the raffle, but the raffle dog will come up. Well, hopefully if he's in the mood, uh, raffle dog rocket will make an appearance. He'll make his cameo roll today and uh, he'll help push the button because that's what he likes to do or that's what we like him to do. I don't know if he has any feelings towards it either way, but he's, he's got to earn his keep around here because that guy's just going around. If he's not eating things, he's, uh, you know, he's going around and getting love from different humans around the building. He's just a never ending bottomless pit of just needing attention and love. <laughs> that's why he loves coming on Tita Clock because he just sees, when he sees the camera on, he sees what's happening. He wants to come on. He's just waiting. He's just waiting for that raffle music because that raffle music is, is what's going to get him all excited. And I know it's going to get you excited too because um, why don't I also just bring that out while we're, it's over there in the back. I don't want to get it, but I wanted to show you. And so the screen's okay, Ben says, but the sound is kind of rough. Let me see if I can if I can do anything over on this side. Sound is kind of rough. Um, let's try. Huh? How about this? Is there any? Is this any better? It's better. It's okay. It's changed a little bit. All right. There you go. So. Check something there, and the uh, sound seems to have gotten a little bit better. And now, <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Take your seats, boys and girls. Get yourself comfortable. And look at each other. You're sitting, sitting around the house as it is. Oh, it's no, it's not that. It's, it's raffle time. It's raffle time. That's what we need. It's raffle time, Rocketeer. Woohoo! <laughs> Rocket, everyone's been waiting for you to hit that button. Here, Rocket. Hi, everyone. Who wants to win the air dog? <laughs> Press that button, Rocket. Boom. All right, Rocket. Cross your fingers. Cross your toes. <laughs> oh my gosh here's the winner rocket look it's regina abad she won you're not excited oh he's not excited i think he's having technical difficulties too can you imagine that poor old rocket so there congrats congratulations regina abad. you are a winner for the air dog raffle that is absolutely awesome and you're gonna love it especially if you have a dog like rocket who look he's licking now oh, he's so sweet if you have a dog like rocket that that has well he's not bad on the hair but some dogs are worse than others in terms of hair then there's allergens in the air i mean metro manila is loaded with that so it's definitely going to be a big help why does rocket look like a stuffed toy um because he, he i don't know he's just he has that look he's part of the green screen effect here you know you can get this this uh this Oh, no. it's, an, it's an app, kidding. Of course, Rocket is real. And a lot of people are actually, it's getting, uh, it's starting to affect my confidence because people are now asking to meet Rocket, not me, when they pick up their raffle prizes. So, yeah, he's getting a, a, a bit of a fan base and people want to meet him. And if you win the prize, you know, if you're in Metro Manila, if you are willing to come down to Makati to pick up your prize, you can always pick it up and meet Rocket as well. And, well, I'll usually be here as well, right, Rocket? Oh, yep. Hmm? It was a happy birthday to, um, for who? Okay, it's for Len. Happy birthday to Len who celebrated, oh no, Noel. I can't read, you keep moving the thing. Noel, 
Mojica. Oh, belated happy birthday to Noel Mojica. Sorry about that. All right, so that wraps up the clock. I'm sorry it's been such a technical disaster, but at least the dog made up for it. Um, he'll make up for any technical disaster. So till next week, you guys stay safe. And I don't wash those hands. See you later. Fancy meeting you in my internet. Couldn't help but notice your smile while everybody else around us is surfing about. Can we just stop and chat a while? Get away from these gray and boring lonesome days of our quarantine. Just the first day of the rest of our lives Love could be waiting at the end of this quarantine Let's stop and talk